perhaps most peculiar, the word Facebook is mentioned three times on page one of the Work for Hire contract, but never appears on page two. Zuckerberg's legal team suspects Segley may have faked a new page one to go with the real page two from the Street Facts project. Everything's very expensive and time consuming. And Mark Zuckerberg threw everything at it, like he should. However, Seglia's team chalks all that up to the sloppiness of a layman preparing his own contract. They say their own expert findings prove the contract is authentic. One, that the signatures and the initials were Mr. Zuckerberg's. Uh, two, that the first page and Mr. Zuckerberg's initials match the indentations on the second page, that the paper came from the same mill in the same run, that even the staples shows the documents were originally together. Facebook's digital experts report scouring Seglia's email accounts and never finding any of those supposed emails. They claim those messages only turn up in Microsoft Word documents, which show evidence of data tampering. Facebook and Zuckerberg's experts believe they are entirely bogus, the product of Seglia's imagination. Anytime you have inconsistencies, it casts doubt onto, well, are these authentic or not? And you kind of start with one thing, and then if you start finding more, then the evidence kind of builds up, and you kind of can come to that conclusion that, that something's been manipulated.